Hello cellos, this is Mr. Dugal. Today let's learn about the music staff and the cello notes. Here we have the music staff and this is the clef symbol. This is the F clef and it's also called the bass clef. It's called the F clef because the note F right here is on the line that is right in between the two dots of the F clef. The area to the right of the clef symbol is called the key signature. Here we have two sharps, F sharp, which is on the second line from the top, and we have C sharp, which is on the second space from the bottom. This is F sharp and is played with the third finger on the D string. This is C sharp, and you won't be playing this particular note for a while, but you will be playing the upper octave, which is this one, and it's played with the third finger on the A string. Together, the F sharp and the C sharp are both notes that are in the D scale, and that's the first scale you will learn. The area to the right of the key signature is called the time signature. This tells us how to count the music and its symbol is a fraction. The top number means how many beats there are in the measure, in this case four beats per measure. The bottom number means what type of note gets one beat. The number four means a quarter note. So we have four beats per measure and four quarter notes. Most beginning music is in 4-4 time, and you can also see 3-4 time and 2-4 time. Let's talk about the musical alphabet going up one note at a time. If I was on this note A right here, I would go up to B, C, D, E, F, G, and then after the G I put this rectangle to show you that we have to go back to A, B, C, and D. Now let's talk about the musical alphabet going down one note at a time. If I was on the high D here, I have to think going backwards in the alphabet. So we have D, C, B, A, and now we have to start over again on G, F, E, D, C, B, A, then to G, F, E, D, and the open C string. Now I'd like to show you a great internet resource where you can learn and memorize all the notes on the lines and spaces. Go to www.cello.school.nz and the NZ stands for New Zealand. This is the Manuka Youth Orchestra website game created by a man named Joseph Allen. Here's the music staff and you have to select the correct choice. This is a D string. Open A string. If I select the wrong note, it turns red and shows me the correct answer. It gets progressively harder, and first it's going to review all the open strings, so let's do that first. Let's review the cello strings from lowest to highest. First we have the C string, then the G string, then the D string, and the A string. So now go back to the game and start learning all the notes on the lines and spaces. This is such a great way to learn all the notes. It will help you with your sight reading and all your orchestra music. Good luck.